Hello and welcome. This is going to be our first note-taking video. It's chapter one, lesson one in your textbook. It is rates, I'm going to go blue here, rates and ratios. Let's go a little bit bigger. Rates and ratios, okay? Now, we are on page 11 in your notebook, okay? Page one is the chapter one table of contents because there's 10 chapters in the book. So page one is chapter one, all, and we're going to list that out later. Page two will be chapter two, page three, chapter three, all the way up to chapter 10. So we are starting on page 11, okay? So this is the notes that will go along with the video that you're going to watch next from a Math Antics, okay? So I'm going to um, show you these notes. I want you to copy me down as I go. Remember, it's a video. You can always stop and pause, pause the video. Um, you can always do that And if I'm going too fast. So this is hopefully going to be about five minutes, right? And then all of these will make so much more sense when you actually watch the Math Antics video. Okay, so a ratio is a relationship between two numbers by division. Okay, so write that down, copy down exactly what I write down. A ratio is a relationship between two numbers okay, by division. Now, a rate is a ratio simplified to a denominator of one. So that's a rate, and usually a rate will have time um, on it, right? It has some sort of time, uh, but usually at least one on the bottom. For example, 50 to 1. All right, in the video, you're going to see that there's two different kinds of, well, he's going to use two a fraction in two different ways. So he's going to have a fraction, and he's going to make it one half, and he's going to have a ratio, which is actually one half also, but what he's doing is he's talking about half as a number and as opposed to one over two. So in this case, like half a sandwich. In this case, we're talking one sandwich for two people. Notice the fraction, it's still both of a fraction, but it's how you describe it, okay? All right, let's go here. So fraction is talking about a part, and uh, ratio is talking about a relationship. So you're talking about the relationship between the sandwich and the people, okay? So there's one sandwich for two people. All right, now a ratio can be also written in different ways. Instead of just a fraction, it can be written with a colon, so 1 to 2, or 1 to 2, using T-O, or 1 per 2. The, the fraction line right here, the fraction line is a per, right? Whenever you see per, so it would be 1 per 2, okay? Per. All right, let's scroll down a little bit. 1 to 2. All right, so apples to oranges, right? In the video, you're going to see it. I want you to fill in the apples and the oranges. I'm going to leave that one blank. He's going to give you a number and a number for, uh, for that, okay? And then over here, he's going to talk about flour and sugar. He's going to give you two numbers underneath right here. I'll give you a quick glimpse. Ah, ooh, don't peek. <laughs> so flour and sugar. So that's where you're gonna uh, you're gonna write those in right here. Okay. So right here you're gonna put that in right there and right there. So right here you're gonna put that in. You're gonna put that in right there. All right. Then you get a fraction underneath right here and if no, another fraction right here. All right. I'm kind of teasing you here. All right. Now he's also gonna talk about 40 miles per hour, and 40 miles per hour is 40 miles per one hour. That is a rate. Why is it a rate? Because it involves time. Okay. If it has time, let's take it off and make it red. If it has time in it on the bottom, one hour, one minute, one second, one, you know, one year, one decade, one century, those are all matters of time, right? Units of time. If it has time on the bottom, it is a, a rate. So let me give you some other examples here that he's going to use. 10 meters per second, for one second, twelve dollars per one hour, three meals for one day, fifty games per one year. So now let's zoom in here. This is the most important part that you're going to need to remember, right? This is going to help you set up ratios. Okay. All right. Time is always on the bottom. So if they give you time and then something else, time goes on the bottom, right? Time is the steady. Time is always moving and ticking, right? On the top, now, let's say that they don't give you time, okay? Let's say that they give you money. Well, if they give you money, most of the time, 99% of the time, money will go on top. Well, let's say they don't give you money. Let's say they give you distance. 
Distance goes on top. So if they give you distance or if they give you money, when you're setting up your fraction, the distance or the money goes on top. It goes in the numerator, whereas time goes on the bottom. So that's why you have right here uh, 10 meters. Let's zoom out again. You have 10 meters per second, right? 10 meters per second. That's distance over time. Okay? Um, all right. And then at the end he of the video that you're going to watch, he's going to use a car example to compare the speed of two cars. So this is going to be car number two. So I want you to write car number one, car number two, and then um, he, you're going to write down the fraction. He, he, it'll be on the, it'll be on the, on the video. You'll write it down. Okay. You'll write down uh, here and here, and then car number two here and here. And then you're going to, he'll simplify it, and you guys can um, tell me and compare them. Okay. So you're, you're going to compare, and you're going to end up dividing. So I'm just giving you, giving you an example here. Okay. Just giving you a little. All right, so that's going to be your notes from the video. So these will all make so much more sense once you watch the Math Antics video. They'll, they'll go along with that. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.